So here I have it. This is Steam Deck, 512 gigabytes. The best of the best that you can get at this moment. This is how it looks. And uh, let's discover it together here. First of all, let me show you the box. It's very simple. You have here um, basically this logo and info related to the, to the console. We have another paper here like this with some instructions, micro SD card and so on. And of course, if you have, uh, if you take this package with 512 gigabytes SSD and uh, NVMe SSD, you'll get this uh, premium case. This is it. It's very strong. And also the console has this um, anti-reflective um, uh, coating this is insane uh, let me let me show you for example how is the um, difference here with nintendo switch look this is it let me look light here and Anyway, so you see the difference. As far as I know, only this model has uh, this uh, reflective uh, coat, probably um, the model with 256, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is uh, the charger, 45 watts, an incredible charger, USB Type-C. So let's put it here, the case, let me, let me move it li like this and let's go to the, to the case. You receive also this uh, to, to clean your, uh, your screen. Let me put it here. And this is the console. Okay. The first moment when i when i saw the console i said wow this is uh, this is the effect that uh, this console has on you um let me let me move the camera a bit sorry for that um so this is it it's big it has almost 30 centimeters li like this let me let me show you something like this um 10 centimeters like this, something something li like this, 11, as, as you see here. Anyway, and its weight double than, uh, than Nintendo Switch. Anyway, it feels big. And at this moment, when you, when you take a look at uh, Nintendo Switch, you will say that this is a slim console compared with... Um, with this one look how big it is basically like like this but with this huge size you will get performance and i mean performance not good games triple a games every game out there almost every game out there as you see here, I have some um, some of the games already installed, and uh, what can I say? I don't know what what to to say at this moment to start with this or this or this, because the entire console is so incredible. It's huge, but it's great because you have an excellent grip here, like like this. So. It's feel very comfortable. Probably the the best experience until now with any console or gamepad. And uh, the thumbstick sticks here are the best until now. You know, I I play a lot with my PlayStation Five controller, and you cannot match this. Uh, this is way beyond with with a lot than any uh, controller out there. Uh, the my fingers are very comfortable here because you don't stay like this. Look, 
on on Nintendo Switch, you stay, you play like this, and uh, in this moment you feel this area empty here. Uh, the fingers are starting after a while to to feel some pain, and look at fingers how they are here. But like this, look, you'll play in this way. You won't feel anything, any pain. So um, let's go back to the console. Anyway, it looks fantastic. It feels great. It's a premium device. Uh, this one, as I said, has uh, 512 gigabytes. It's an SSD NVMI, the fastest uh, possible on a, on a console, basically. Um, you can use here a micro SD card. I have a, a micro SD card inserted here, one terabyte. And at this moment, I have um, one and um, 1.5 um, terabytes almost. As you see here, this is the internal drive, 458 gigabytes. And um, this is the, the micro SD card. As you see, the games are huge. For example, Strange Brigade, uh, 34 gigabytes, 28 Need for Speed, and uh, Star Wars, 53 gigabytes. So you will need space on this, on this beast. But it's great that you can use micro SD card. And what is also even greater, you won't feel a difference when you play the games so either you you put them on micro sd card or uh, on ssd you'll get almost the same experience now it depends if a game is highly optimized for ssd over there you will change definitely the frame rates uh, otherwise the entire experience is beautiful you see you have the classic buttons to to thumbsticks here as i said one of the best an option button another button here you have the steam button and you can access this or if you press and hold you will have um, you will have basically the shortcuts um you have uh, two two areas two touchpad areas two trackpads basically they respond like this they are well optimized they have feedback which is great you can control the feedback uh, by the way from here from the settings and um, whenever you want to use for example uh, a mouse you can do it in this way very fast um, press and hold the steam button and this mouse will appear on the screen this is incredible um, here you have another button for uh, options the console is highly customizable. Uh, you have um, the possibility to uh, to work with the performance and the battery. You can you can, um, you, can um, you can set it to to some performance. Look here with thirty eight better percentage of battery, you get almost three hours of usage. But this depends uh, on which game you play because. The battery is uh, the uh, the life battery is somewhere between two hours and eight hours. So if you play, for example, um, uh, if you play uh, Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order, definitely you want uh, you want to get eight hours, probably three hours or maybe more. It depends which game you play. And um, here you have. Uh, this on off button you have an LED you have USB type C charger and by the way this is also a port because um, this console it's basically a computer and um, it's running Steam OS but you can install Windows if you want also you have a desktop mode for it I will show you immediately this is the fan area uh, headphone jack uh, volume buttons you have the triggers here uh, classic triggers here and on the back you have four more buttons look and you can you can use them li like this in in games and it's great to have that because uh, we have a lot of options at, at this moment and you can customize them 
So um, if you press and hold the on off button, you will get this menu here and you can switch, for example, to desktop. Here you will have all the games um, arrange, arranged um, just like in, um, let me take this dust from here, just um, like you um, are on a PC and uh, you can install uh, your own applications, uh, basically like on a PC, you can install everything here. And, um, sorry. You have all kinds of settings here. This is incredible. For me, uh, I don't use desktop mode. I use only SteamOS. Basically, SteamOS is the Steam application. Uh, it will let you to use multiple uh, users so you can switch between them. And um, look, this is the, the menu here. Cancel. And let's, let's go return to gaming mode and it will enter steam os i use it only with gaming mode to to access basically all the games um the performance are fantastic you can run any triple a games at high performances for example i have uh, star wars uh, jedi uh, at ultra settings and uh, you will get uh, almost 50 frame rates uh, frames per second uh, that is incredible um, it's it's uh, moving between 30 and uh, 45 48 something something like this anyway um, the games they are absolutely stunning um, let me let me start for example uh, star wars jedi um, by the way, the screen, uh, it's a 7-inch um, IPS uh, display, touch screen basically. It has, as I said, uh, this, uh, this console being um, uh, the 512 gigabytes model. This one has uh, this anti-reflective coat here. Look, let me put this in. Look here. Look how, how it feels here. Basically, you will have an amazing, amazing uh, gameplay with this one. And uh, this anti-reflective coat uh, or uh, shield on the screen is amazing. Look how it feels. It's, it's a huge difference between this, look, and this. You, you you have an idea at this moment by the way you can put on pause every game just click the on off button here like this and you can resume resume the the play just like uh, on nintendo switch and um what is um how is uh compared with nintendo switch well definitely uh steam deck here it's killing Nintendo Switch. Uh, I don't want to play at this moment on Nintendo Switch, uh, not even on uh, PlayStation 5. The quality here, it's absolutely stunning and um, every game, it looks better than uh, uh, on Google Stadia or on a, a, a stream from PlayStation 5 because on from PlayStation 5 you get a 720p um, a resolution here you go up or uh, you go up and um, you know the quality it's absolutely amazing amazing you know Nintendo Switch has at this moment an advantage because why do I say that I have uh, the these ones here Nintendo Switch um, has an advantage I mean you can't find very easy the Steam Deck out there it's very hard to get it and probably in the future 
it will remain the same you you will be you you will find very hard this one and um this this is how they look you will you will find them very hard and uh, this is the advantage that nintendo switch has uh, at this moment over uh, steam deck it's hard to find this one otherwise simply uh, steam deck it's destroying basically uh, um, uh, nintendo switch this quality that you you get here cannot be cannot be matched by anything out there look here so let's press play uh, basically this is how you oh let me let me show you another great aspect when you download a game for example um let me go here to to library and um let's try to get this game now i already have it the speed for wireless downloading is crazy let me let me show you this it has 34 gigabytes you press install basically this is it this is how you install the game and um, the speed is amazing i i reached even uh, 50 gigabyte uh, 50 megabytes per second um let's let me press here this is it um look here i have at this moment uh, 21 megabytes 26 here uh, sometimes you will reach almost 50 megabytes in in uh, some downloads now it depends uh, where uh, the game is uh, written look 40 megabytes per second so the speed is crazy and you can download everything very fast this is what i appreciate on nintendo switch it's a pain to download the game and they are limiting the speed on nintendo switch um, for downloads because of the servers and so on look 50 52 53 almost megabytes per second now 54 megabytes this is incredible to to download a game um i have nine minutes for 30 uh, for uh, 34 uh, megabytes and um that is that is crazy let's go back here and let's let's start the game you will hear the fan uh, my main uh, concern was the fan how how powerful is this no uh, it's not uh, very loud it's decent you will feel like um, it's running on nintendo switch when it's heated something something like this anyway it's very very decent the sound for the fan and the console doesn't get hot i played um I played uh, a lot on it probably one hour something like this like this and um, this is stable the frame rate are stable. the console doesn't get hot you don't feel anything here in this area it's well ventilated and uh, this is what I, I appreciate let's let's play the game here you will see this um, in the beginning of every game you can customize everything this is an incredible incredible device and um, and the fact that it can run any game out there it's outst outstanding you have here two speakers and um, the quality of the sound is also amazing everything it's very rich uh, very powerful and, and it will create a huge atmosphere here for the game so i'm really really impressed with uh with the sound um so uh if you press this you get some options related to the game if you press this uh, you have battery you have um, performance overlay here look 50 60 frames here you can you can see also all this info here and um, this is how everything starts here anyway 
is the best device that you can get out there uh, when they when they released this and when they announced this i wasn't to um, uh, i didn't believe that a device a portable device like this can bring something uh, at, at this high performance uh, you know uh, i said well probably it will be another another handheld console with problems with uh various problems and so on no this console it's a beast and uh, at this moment the game it's on ultra settings this is another important aspect not high or medium but ultra settings for the game and um, the game is performing incredible at ultra high settings you will get 30 frame rates and everything will look fantastic here look at this so don't forget that you can change 40 frame rates you can change everything here 45 frame rates 47 if you want more frame rates you can go uh, with that and you can go with high settings instead of, of ultra settings but still this is this is fantastic and uh, basically this is it if you want to close the game press team button and b button and it will automatically close this it's basically a force close what can i uh, tell you more about this um i will upload more videos you will have gameplays with it and um you you will discover it here on the channel um more so um watch my videos here and uh, you will see a lot of um of videos with this console so um this is it basically And for me is the supreme handheld device ever uh, I never had an experience like this uh, as I said at this moment I'm not playing on Nintendo switch on PlayStation 5 on streaming anymore this is it the quality is absolutely shocking for uh, for it and um, to discover more just uh, watch my my videos with gameplays and you will see everything there it's not heavy it's very very comfortable 10 times more comfortable than nintendo switch um the controls as i said the best out there even better than my playstation 5 controller these thumbsticks also the buttons here they feel very nice when you press them and I believe this d-pad is incredible it's it's so uh, so it feels so great when you when you press it it's hard to describe and also um, this trackpad here it has feedback at this moment when I press it a gentle feedback just like feeling uh, d-pad so this is it I will uh, I will post more videos anyway this is this is the best device out there don't forget that after testing it for me anyway it's incredible and the fact that i was able to get the 512 gigabytes model i'm i'm super glad and thankful for for that i know uh, it will be it will be difficult to to find a console uh, near future in the future uh, this console on the market but i hope you you will have luck to get one and uh, go for it definitely 100 percent is the best device um, possible out there triple a games at an incredible quality uh, this is fantastic for me thanks for watching